To get started, let's create an Ionic project from the command line and then CD into it. The project will be called SAS and will be based off the tabs example. Out of the box, SAS and its dependencies aren't included, but can be added by running Ionic Setup SAS. Alternatively, you could manually set things up, but this command simplifies the process. What this command does is downloads the gulp build tools needed for working with SAS. Don't worry if you're unfamiliar with gulp tasks, because these will run in the background for you. However, we also make it easy to fully customize your gulp file if you choose to. We can start up our app now with Ionic Surf. Here we can see we have the default styles for a tab application. Our tab bar is tab light and our nav bar is bar light. Let's change this to use bar positive and tabs positive. This command is a shortcut to open up my text editor, Adam, in the current working directory. So now we have a blue tabs bar and a blue nav bar. Let's navigate to the SCSS folder and open ionic.app.scss. Here we can see some variables used in Ionic's CSS. We can override these variables and make them whatever color we would like. So since we've used the positive variable in our app, let's go ahead and override its default value. As soon as we save this file, the SAS will be compiled and our live preview will automatically be updated. In a formula, we will expand on the SAS file and start to create our own custom theme.